we have played and continue to play an important role in the hospitality industry in China. And it's clearly the right time to reposition the Peninsula Beijing as the number one address in Beijing. When this hotel opened in, in the late 80s, it was the first international luxury hotel. But then if we look back a bit further in 1922, where HSH had the Grand Hotel de Wagon Lee. So I think that is what sets us apart, is, is our history and our heritage. What makes this renovation major is that it's a complete overhaul of the hotel. We make sure every little detail, every drawer we open, every door, every working desk, everything works perfectly. Form follows function, and this is what happens in Peninsula. The structural changes that we're making is twofold. One is in the guest rooms, the second is increasing the size of the lobby. We use um, the white marble that had been used in the Forbidden City for the uh, base of the round columns. And even the carving, all these are inspired from the old imperial pattern. So that kind of uh, tradition and the luxurious material that makes the lobby a very unique one. Guests and visitors are greeted by brand new fabulous grand staircase. So to achieve that we had to demolish the existing staircase which set in the property for over 20 years. When I go somewhere and say I work for Peninsula, everybody will say, yeah, I've been to the lobby. That's just part of our DNA. The whole hotel is, we call it all suite hotel now, because every room is a suite, upgraded to the latest Peninsula standard. At about 60 square meters, we're the largest standard guest room in Beijing and potentially in China. The suites are the best product in class, and the guest experience will tremendously improve through this renovation. The一个美术馆或者博物馆级别的艺术项目，因为这个中国在实际上真正都要开放的这个历史啊，是非常短的。我们只有把自己放在一个相对国际的坐标里边，我们才会看到我们的特点，看到我们的价值。所以很多时候不